Many experts agree car crashes are one of the leading causes of child death in the United States. The Insurance Institute for Highway Sif Safety says nearly 700 children under the age of 13 died in 2018 because of a car crash. Its research shows that number has steadily decreased since 1975 as more and more states pass child restraint laws. Now all 50 states and D.C. have seatbelt laws on the books. This week is Child Passenger Safety Week and the Governor's Office of Highway Safety wants to educate parents. Brianna Richardson spoke with a certified instructor about proper use of a car seat and why it's so important. Car crashes are a leading cause of death for children. Georgia Governor's Office of Highway Safety is working to stop them. Amanda Jackson says improper use of car seats plays a major role. It's important to get your car seat checked because a child has been involved in a car crash every 32 seconds and 46% of car seats are misused. These 2018 numbers come from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. She says it's also important to register your car seat by calling the manufacturer. So if there were to be a recall and the manufacturer needed to update you on something, they have the appropriate contact information in order to do so. Sarah Ledford helped a lady whose grandkid was hurt in a crash a few years ago. Since then, she makes sure her son is strapped in. But somebody T-boned her and one of her kids were hurt. They fractured their uh, knee from not being buckled in correctly. She had the chest clip all the way down and he slipped out. And it wasn't a terrible wreck, but it was, it was still traumatic enough to make me realize I need to buckle my kid in the right way. So before you pull off, make sure the car seat is secure. And then you're good to go. But don't forget your seatbelt. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says car seats reduce the risk of fatal injury by 71% for infants and by 54% for toddlers. In Macon, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. Georgia law requires old children under the age of eight to ride in a car or booster seat. There are, there are virtual car seat checks this Saturday from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. If you want more information on how to sign up, look for this story on our website, 13WMAZ.com. The best seat for your child is one that fits your child, fits your vehicle, and you can use correctly every time. A closer look at car seat safety, safekidsgeorgia.org provides a guide for choosing the correct seat based on your child's age and size. The organization says children under age one should always be in a rear facing seat and you should try to keep them in that type of seat for as long as possible. From roughly ages four to seven, children should be in a forward facing seat with a harness. Then, from ages 8 to 12, keep your child in a booster seat until they're big enough to fit in a car seat properly, or rather, in a seat belt properly. That means the lap belt has to fit snugly across the upper thighs, not the stomach. Safe Kids Georgia also recommends keeping your child in the back seat at least until they turn 13.